Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everyone is having a great day. Well, we are going to be starting the kit that I got this morning from Paint Some Way. And this is, I'm going to call it the Summer House. We need a little summer in the middle of winter and all the cold. And the color that I am using is number 890. And it is kind of a dark, dark olive green, if you will. Yeah, and I'm starting in the upper left-hand corner, just because it was easier to see while I am trying to make a video here. So how's everybody doing? Did you have a good week? Are we ready for the weekend? Already? I know. It is what it is. I'm telling you, be Monday before we know it again. Holy cow. Well, yesterday, my daughter and I went down to Salida, which is about mm, 35 to 40 minutes away. No big deal. And we went to Walmart, and we went to the... What do you call it? The thrift store down there. Picked up a few things there. Not much to really write home about. And then we went and had lunch at McDonald's just because it was easy and we were both starving to death. And we had to stop off and give my uh, son-in-law his lunch on the way back home. And then I left my daughter's house and went to the grocery store and picked up the ingredients for um, some more chow mein. So I finally fixed that last night. Oh, somewhere between three and five. And had that for dinner, so we'll be eating that for a few days. And I did stitch a little bit on my big um, one from Fan Cells that I just got a couple weeks ago. But... Uh, I thought I'd start this one irregardless of the 3865, so I think it'll be fine. I, like I said, I have enough 3865 and back stock to cover what needs to be done there. Didn't make too much progress on my big one yesterday. I was just tuckered out. I was going to take a nap and then I thought, nope. If I lay down, then I'm not going to do half the things that I needs to be done. So I thought, well, I'll just occupy my brain and make the chow mein, which takes a couple hours because you got to cut everything up and get it whooped together and then let it kind of simmer, if you will, so that the pork gets good and tender. But other than that, oh, and I've been watching Outlander, so I'm on season two. We're speeding right along. Not. Oh, yeah. It's like wading through one of their bogs. But we're getting there. And this is my daughter's favorite series, if you will. So, we're both watching it at the same time in case I got any kind of questions. So, fun times. Come on. What in the world? It looked huge. Ah, oh, getting myself into another big 
14 count. But here we go. Might as well, right? And this side's a little less cluttered than the other side. I didn't feel like trying to cipher out what it was, you know, because there's that one part over there on the other side where it's got like three or four, might be even possibly more, all red symbols. So I didn't feel like squinting into that. So we'll just start over here on a big area and just go from there and see what we can get done. I did uh, get myself, I believe these are either 26 or 28. Just cause I couldn't remember. Oh yeah, it did come with. I guess they're kind of tiny. The kit, uh, the kit. The needles that came with it have a small, I don't know that you can see that. I'm trying, let me see if I can find it. No, here's a normal size. So they do have a, let me lay it down there, a smaller in, eye on it. So that's good. We'll just keep them in the ready. We'll put them right back in there. So they don't get lost. I didn't even pay attention. I just went for the needles I normally use for 14 count. So, no grand plans here for the weekend. Just planning on staying home. It got kind of cool. You know, the sun was out. The sky was a beautiful blue, and it was gorgeous. Went all the way down there, and we were gone, what, three hours maybe? And when we got back, it looked like it was going to snow. It didn't do anything. If it did, I didn't notice because I was inside, see? So... Yay. But it sure looked, and it got, it, I swear it dropped 25 degrees, you know, when we got back. So, other than that, no plans. I gotta go run and do laundry today. And uh, go pay bills and all that kind of stuff. But that's not even fun, right? So hopefully I'll have a nice, quiet weekend. Of course, tomorrow we'll have our winter, winter cross stitch. I haven't got a clue what we're going to use yet. I haven't. Thought that far ahead, I guess. See what I can rustle up. Gotta get that thread out of there, or it's gonna get hot anybody else got any grand plans for this weekend are you gonna do anything fun or go anywhere 
some people like to take their vacations, you know, when it's cold weather where they're at, and go someplace warm for a couple weeks. And yeah, I never had that luxury to go run and do that. But we just put up with it and keep on going, so... Put that needle up there. I asked my uh, daughter if we were going to have a a Valentine tea, and because they had all the the cookies and cakes and stuff, you know, out at Walmart. But she said, "No, wait." I'm like, "Okay," that we could go back down there. And I did look at the dates of everything that they had there, and they were going to expire before Valentine's Day ever even came into play. How, how ridiculous is that? Come on. I don't understand these stores. I guess you could get it. Whoops. I'll go back. Um, I guess you could put all that stuff in the freezer and freeze it until that point. Oh, crud. Just crud. I don't know if you can tell what I did. I'm so used to doing 11 count, I think the holes should be way bigger. We're just going to wing it. Nothing happened. We're good. There we go. Fixed. Be about time for the Super Bowl here pretty soon. I think it's the week of Valentine's Day. We don't decorate the store for Valentine's Day. We get, um, we do Thanksgiving, not Thanksgiving, I'm sorry, Halloween and Christmas because we have all the decorations. And that's about as decorative as it gets for the whole year. Come on, Laura, get it together here. Do you decorate for Valentine's Day? And I know some people decorate for Easter, but I don't know. I don't think I decorated even when the kids were little for Valentine's Day. <coughs> Excuse me. It was a little windy yesterday. I mean, like when we came home and I said it was looking bad, the wind had definitely picked up. So it doesn't help to be out in it. And all the dirt and dust flying around, I noticed my eyes were kind of itching this morning. And I couldn't figure out why. Well, there you go. Because we haven't had, I don't think we've had a lot of wind all week. For a change. Oh, but wait until February and March. That's when it gets nasty, nasty around here. So we'll see how it goes. So far, we've only had two big snow storms, if you will. And no rain in between all that. So I'm not complaining. I do not want to have to clean off my car. I had to scrape off my windshield because I guess the humidity was up. I had a light, what do you call it, glaze of frost on my windshields, my front and my back windshield. But 
nothing that didn't take more than two minutes to take care of. Thank goodness. I got no idea what I'll stitch on all weekend. You know, I might might be one of those weekends where I go from one to the other to the other to the other. You know, we have those all the time around here. Just hadn't thought about what I had the desire to stitch on. I just keep stitching on that big one, knocking out areas one color at a time so we'll see oh that's attractive <sighs> seriously yep that ain't gonna work <sighs> dag nabbit come on you little pea picker I love it when it gets stuck in the needle. Okay, we'll just fix you. Done. I was trying to back it out, but that didn't work so hot. Well, I guess I did better than I thought it would. We'll see. Oh, look at that. I got it on the first try. Scary but true. Because I knew that needle threader was not going to go through there at all. Okay, let's try this again. Go back. Let's try the holes this time. My goodness gracious. Come on, silly thing. I think this is going to be a really pretty picture when it's done. I don't think it had any back stitching in it. You could certainly put as much back stitching into it as you care to do, but sometimes it's it's okay without it. We'll see. I have to make that judgment call, you know, when I come to that part. I was going to start on the sky, but it just looked a little daunting this morning. Like, nope. Alright, guys. Well, I think that is going to be about it for today. Let me pull this down. But it's stitching up really nice. Hold it as still as possible. Alright guys, well thank you for joining me today for this stitch along. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell. That way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you next time. God bless. Bye bye. Keep stitching.